Hello folks, Appfielder here back with another Minecraft tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to install shaders with fabric. A lot of people think that you can only run Optifine by itself without fabric but actually you can run the two together. Now there are two videos that will be helpful alongside this video. Number one is how to install fabric, link will be in the top right hand corner right now and it will be down in the description below. Second video that might come in handy is my previous video how to install different instances of Minecraft. This is useful because Optifine is not always compatible with all your other fabric mods so it doesn't work with sodium for example and there might be other ones that it doesn't work with so having multiple instances might be useful. So let's get on with installing Optifine, Optifabric with Fabric then. So first thing you're going to need to do is two downloads and I've handily got these web pages open right here. First thing you need is Optifine which is from optifine.net forward slash downloads and obviously it's specific to the version that you have. I have 117.1 so I would click on that and then just click download on there. I'm not going to click download because I've already done that. And then the second website you need is on thecurseforge.com and again link for this will be down in the description below for both these websites. And again, this is specific to the version of Minecraft you have. So if you're in 117.1, you'll just need this one on the right hand side. If you're in an older version, then just click on files up here and then you'll see a much bigger list and you'll see the game versions down below. Click on it, like this one for example, actually goes ahead and it's not formatted that well, but it tells you which versions it will support. Very important that you get the right ones. As I said, I've handily gone ahead and done this ready. So these are all the downloads that uh, you will need. Ignore that one for, uh, for now. This is just to show you that you can run other mods alongside it. So Optifabric and Optifine, that's my shader pack and then just a couple of other mods just to show you that you can run them in Fabric. Now in the previous video I showed you how to create a new instance of Minecraft and that's what I'm going to assume that you're doing here. So let me get a folder here we go. And up the top here, if you type in percent app data percent, now your default Minecraft folder is this one, the dot Minecraft. So if you click on it, you can do it all in here. Now we're going to go to a new one, a new instance. And as I said, I did a video on creating a new instance of Minecraft. Links down in the description. So actually, let's change this. So I actually want to go to Minecraft demo because this is my demo one that I'm showing you guys. Right. Now I have launched this briefly with Fabric installed. So I have my mods folder, I've got resource packs and things like that. Don't have shaders pack yet, which is important to note because we'll do that next. This is my downloads folder. So make sure the game's not running. Now I've got the launcher open, but not the game. Okay. And I want to put in Optifabric, Optifine, and I'm going to put these two in as well. So you can literally just right click, copy, Right click in the blank bit of space over there, click paste, there we have it. Now it's easiest to launch this game once. So I've got my demo Minecraft selected down there. Let's check this out. Take a moment to launch. Folks, while we wait for it to launch, don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video useful and please consider subscribing to the channel as well. I do lots of fabric mod videos, go into a lot of depth in Tweakaroo, a huge playlist actually of Tweakaroo videos. And here we go, the game is now loading up. He says, there we go. Maximize this window, Ugh, that's horrible. Right, let's have a look at the video settings. Where's the, there we go. Let's change that to something a, a bit nicer. Right, you can see Optifine's installed because I had that shaders button. If I click on it and what you can do is if I open, not that folder, the other folder, this one, it's actually really easy in Minecraft. You can just click and hold and drag. He says, did that work? I don't think that worked. <laughs> that works for resource packs, doesn't work for this. Okay, let me show you the other way of doing it. Right, let's go to Minecraft demo. So you're in your Minecraft folder. I now have this folder called shaders packs. So if I just copy this, and then just paste it across. There we go. Let's go back into Minecraft. And there we go. There we have it. That was embarrassing, wasn't it? And then if we click on this.
Click done. And we can click done again and done again. Do I have a world in this demo? Don't think I do. Nope, of course I don't. Put in creative, I don't want to die straight away. Difficulty, that will do. Create a new world. I might just cut this part, make it look a little bit quicker. And there we have it, folks, that instant load there. Why can't I get in? I did load it up in creative. I did perfect. There we go, folks. I have shaders installed. It's lovely and slow loading, <laughs> but there you go. I have fabric, and just to prove that my other mods are still working, that I am in fabric. There we go. I have tweakaroo, and uh, yeah, there you have it, folks. That's how you do it. Any questions or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. Anyway, folks, that's all I've got time for. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.